So now we're gonna do the ocho cortado. From the basic, going forward, side, back, back, cross. Your partner will pivot to you, take you to a forward ocho, but now he's gonna cut. Instead of finishing the turn, he'll cut you and slice you into the cross again, into the salida. So the ocho cortado, again, from the basic, forward, side, back, back, cross, He'll pivot you slightly, take you forward, and instead of bringing you back around, he'll cut and slice you right back into the cross and maybe into a salida. Remember, keeping your back straight, weight over the balls of your feet, and your frame connected. From the basic back, side, forward, forward, cross. Now here, as you lead her and uncross her, you're gonna take the step back with her as she steps forward. Spiral your body, step in between her feet, and then take her and cross her back again. From here, you finish it like a regular basic. Forward, side, and together. Let's take a look at it from another angle. We have back, all the way to the cross. Make sure you cross, you uncross, and as she steps forward, you follow that, and you stop the ocho from happening, you bring her back to the cross, and you resolution with a forward, side, feet together. We have. Once again, all the way to the cross. This time, you're gonna accompany her forward step, and you're gonna stop her right foot. Then, you bring her back to a cross, and a resolution. We have back, all the way to the cross. You want to lead by thinking your left shoulder back. You accompany the step. Then you lead your partner by opening the door this way. And then you sharply close it. Bring her back into a cross. From here, you can bring solution. The ocho cortado tends to be done in a quick, quick, slow uh, musicality. So we have something like this. And quick, quick, slow. One more time. E. Bam. <laughs> 